Oh, it's Steve calling. Damn it. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, yes. What is up, everybody? This is Got Gear, and we're coming back with a brand new video, and we're coming back with Kindergarten. So I was looking around on Steam again, and I saw this, and the art style, everything, it looked absolutely hilarious and funny so i'm ready to jump into this i have no idea what this game is even about i didn't even read the review or anything i was just like you know what let's play it let's see how it does so yeah we're gonna get on with it and jump right into the game so oh and we're heading off to school am i ready to start another day of kindergarten hell yeah it's gonna say we gonna look this yo look at the <laughs> look at that teacher's boobs <laughs> it's like the one teacher um the teacher that threw that one girl with the pigtails over the over the fence. That that's what it that's what it is. What's her name? Hold up. I, when I first saw this, I about sh shit my pants. This about made me scared of school right here. This made me think every teacher was out to get me. <laughs> okay. Screw off, kid. I'm busy. Jeez. Hi, my friend. My friends call me Nugget, or they would if I had any. Nuggets know no love or friendship since Billy went missing. Um, what happened to Billy? Oh, shoot. No. Billy's missing. Poor Nugget. Do you know where he is? Nugget doesn't know. Nugget knows. Knows who knows. Nugget knows who knows. Who knows? Your question you upset poor Nugget. You push too hard. Nugget needs his pills. Gulp. Much better. What are we talking about? What's in those pills? I guess so. Was I speaking strangely before? In the third person? Well, that's just another good side effect of these uh, then. I don't know. The principal gave them to me after I saw something traumatic or something. They're great. The principal gave you pills? Yep. Is that legal? Probably not. You don't find that suspicious? I do, but he said that's the side effect of the pills. Of course. You want one? Sure. There you go. Enjoy the pill. Take it if you starting uh, start thinking about Billy too much. No more no more talk talking now. Shh. Hey there, cutie. I'm Cindy. Want to be my boyfriend? I mean, shoot. You kind of caught me on the spot right here. But, since we're just talking about pigtails, and you got pigtails, you know, I don't see why not. <laughs> that, that's what I like to hear, and we'll, and we'll totally be the cutest couple in school, but first you have to do something for me. Isn't our, isn't our, isn't our love enough? <laughs> that's cute, but no. No, it isn't. You're going to have to prove it to me. I'm not proving it. How, how do I do that? You see that girl over there? That's Lily. She is by far the ugliest, nasty girl you will ever meet. I want you to take this gums and stick it in her hair during morning time. Got it? Yeah, sure. Sure, I don't see him. Okay. Oh, yay! This is going to be so great. You'll finally get what she deserves. Or she'll finally get what she deserves, just like her brother did for dumping me. Come find me morning time after you're done. What, what happened to her brother? You ever heard? He went missing. His disappearance totally stole the thunder from my dog. Dog Biscuit going missing. I guess everyone just cares more about him than they do about me. I, 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 I care about you. Yep, that's why, why, why you're going to stick the gum in Lily's hair during morning time. Come see me after you're done, done it. Don't worry, baby cakes. I will get it done for you. Okay, wait. So it, let me see these hints real quick. So they said, Cindy, Jerome, and teacher's mission. So if I had to guess, I'm Jerome. I don't think you're cool enough to talk to me. Whatever, jerk. Jeez, why you gotta be such a dickwad? I'm Miss Applegate. I've been well endowed <clears throat> with excellent teaching qualities. With them big old Teaching stick. All right. So where, where do we go? So we got this. How you doing there, Sonny? Don't mind all down to the head. Just sweeping up after you silly cretins. Sweepy, sweepy, sweepy. That's that's a mop. Ah. So it is. 
fucking zoom in on the old guy and just like have the most distorted background music and like black and white that would be perfect I'll be mopping your blood off of it if you don't skedaddle I don't want to skedaddle faggot I'm a man of my word you go you're going to kill me no no no, no! chill out chill, chill out Okay, so we get apples for 25 cents. <gasps> okay, children, it's time to start the day. Everyone head inside for morning time. Oh, some morning time? Do we get, like, nap time and shit, too? That'd be sick. Good morning, children. It's time for you to pick your buddies for morning time, or you can be sad, pathetic, and alone, as long as you're the best you can be. All right, Mr. Trunchbull, I'll do my best. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, that's pressing B. Okay. Put the gum in Cindy's. Put the gum Cindy gave you in Lily's hair during morning time. Oh yes, come here. Oh, I don't really do the whole morning buddy thing anymore. My brother Billy was normally my buddy, but he's missing. Put gum in hair. Fuck it. Did you just? You did. You put gum in my hair. That's so mean. Mean. Cindy's put you up to this, didn't she? Well, I don't. I don't even care. Leave me alone. Ah ah ah! Cry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So where's where's my where's my where's my GF? Where's my girl from Bay? Did you do it? Oh my gosh! You, you totally did. Wow! What happened? What did she say? Did she cry? I bet she cried. Yeah, you see across the room, don't she? She's crying like a little baby. Yes, I'm so happy. Now, can you be uh, my morning buddy, which also makes you my boyfriend? As as my boyfriend, you get the honor of playing house with me. I'll meet you over at the dollhouse. And we get to play house. This is game is looking like the best thing ever. What do we have over here? Hey, don't go snooping around in people's cubbies. <laughs> That's so funny. Yo, is there a fucking knife? Is that a is that like a C4 over there? Okay. Uh, let's go over here. Go, go to my babe. Welcome home, husband. I hope work wasn't too hard because you're going to be making dinner tonight. Shit! Why do I have to make dinner? Because I've been so busy maintaining the house and I, <laughs> I drink it again. Hey, have you been drinking again? No, honey, I'm, uh, I'm just tired. Oh, sure you are. You're always so tired. I'm sure you won't mind blowing into this then. Is that a breathalyzer? I told you I'm fine. You bet it is. And if you blow so much as a 0.01, I'm calling your sponsor. I'll take your test. I told you I'm fine. There's that temper my mother warned me about. She was so right about you. Take your stupid flask back. You obviously care more about it than you do about me or your unborn child. Unborn child! I, I, well, you were in prison. It's probably not yours. I'm sorry. I guess I have my own set of problems to deal with. You cheated on me? It was the one only time I was alone. He was there for me when you weren't. I didn't know how to get by. Please, don't get mad. We can get through this, though. I, I, still, I still love you. Oh, we, I want a divorce. We, we can work through this. I don't want to play anymore. I want a divorce. Ah, you're right. This, this isn't working now. What, what do we do now? Go spend the night with your mother. Oh, okay, I guess that's fair. I'll call you tomorrow. I hope we can sort this out. Oh, wow, that was the most fun I've had playing house in a while. You're going to make a splendid boyfriend. I want you to have lunch with me. Relationship goals. Great, I'll see you then. Oh, this is wonderful. Um, Can we talk to good old Jerome now? Dude, you know you're not cool enough to talk to me, let alone be my morning buddy. Besides... Monty's gonna hook me up with a sweet yo-yo. Oh, it better be a Dunkin' Butterfly yo-yo, or I'm gonna be pissed at ya. Okay, so, so we should probably talk. Let's see, let's see what this guy wants. Why the hell do you think I want to be your morning, morning buddy? Uh, uh, okay. Well, fuck off then. Okay, my boy, 
Nugget does, Nugget does not wish to spend the morning with you. Nugget is very busy. What, what are you busy with? You're curious about the way of Nugget's interesting. Perhaps you could be of some use. Perhaps. Nugget is in need of magnifying glasses. Does Do do this for Nugget before the next bell rings and you will be rewarded. Okay, okay, okay I guess. What? You want to be my morning buddy? I ain't got no. I ain't got time for for that nonsense. So unless you're buying or selling something, get lost. I don't want anything. Go find it in the morning, buddy, or you'll be an outcast loser like Nugget. Nug Nugget gave me a pill. Oh, dips. Go. Fuck. <laughs> Did you just take my pill? Thank you for bringing this to my attention. Don't worry about it. Teacher will uh will do whatever about it. Now run along and play. Uh, you're welcome. And then hint unlocked. Uh, let's see what the hints are. The teacher will let you look through the cubbies if you give her a pill. Oh, shit. Let's get it. Yo, can I, like, steal some shit? Yo, give me that magnifying glass. Hey, don't go stupid around and you know what. I, I really don't care. <laughs> I don't really care. Do what you want. <laughs> She's fucking high as a shit. This is Lily's cubby. There's a magnifying glass in here. She's probably using it to look for clues about her missing brother. Take the magnifying glass. Give me that shit. Okay, kids, that's the lunch bell. Let's go down uh, to the cafeteria for a nutritious meal. I hear we're having slop today. How exciting. Yo, she's got the dance moves of dreams over here. She's like breaking it down. Look at the flick of the wrist. And we got our boy Biscuits over here. Is the name Biscuits? I can't remember. Biscuit balls. Get your biscuit balls here. You get them while you're at the hot. Biscuit balls. My own recipe come up with it, with it after a little uh, incident that happened recently. What's in them? Whatever's in a biscuit and a little something extra. It's the extra part that worries me. Oh, come on. Try it. It won't kill you. How much are they? They're a buck a piece, quite a if I do say so myself, and I'm sure your little friend, uh, Cindy, would <laughs> love to try one. Why would Cindy want to try one? Just a, <laughs> just a hunch I have. Go ahead and give her one. I'm sure she'll love it. Yeah. Cindy, come here. There you go, buddy. Now go give that to that Cindy girl. I don't know. She is my, she is my bae, so I don't want to, it better not be weird. Oh, hey, boyfriend, I saved you a spot. Go get something to eat and come sit with me. I have this thing. Eat biscuit ball. Oh, good. I was just thinking about... Oh, darn it. My, stu my stupid mother packed me something that's not vegan. She knows I'm all vegan right now. God, that woman is insufferable. Hey, sweetie, would you be a darling and go get me something vegan? Something vegan? Yeah, you know, um... Like, uh, I don't know exactly what it means, but I know it's good. So just ask around and see if you can find something vegan. Oh, and slop isn't vegan. How do you know? I figured you'd be seeing uh, me around now. Slop is no good. Uh, no, oh, shoot. Never mind. I don't want nothing. Are, are you okay over here? I, I mean, I, put, I know I put the gum in your hair, but that's just because it's my bae that told me to do Okay, yeah. Please don't sit with me. I don't want to talk to anyone until they find my brother. Okay. Hey, say no more, dog. Yo, she is killing it right now. No. No one ever sits with Bowen Nugget. Nugget does not have any friends. Nugget just has precious. That's exactly who the guy is. That has to be. Walk away from Nugget. Don't fuck away with that guy. No way a worm like you is gonna be sitting with me. Damn, why you gotta be so shit to me, dog? You're nowhere near cool enough to sit with us. Get lost. I didn't want to sit with you anyway, Jerome, so fuck off, fag. Oh, shit. It's a garbage can. I'm not going to dig through it and f to find stuff. What do we got? We got some good old bottles. Okay, let's see, ever, see what our wonderful, beautiful, beautiful, mm, just quite delicious cafeteria lady we have. What is she doing over here? How you doing there, Sandy? What's your tasty, nutritious slot for lunch? Um, what's in it? It's an old family recipe, lots of herbs and spices and salt about 89% the principal secret ingredient. 89% is a lot. Oh, it's not that much. Supposedly it keeps the slop in regulation with the government's new health standards. Um, what's the secret ingredient? I can't tell you that. It's a secret. 
Also, I have no idea what it is either. They're feeding us seasoned mystery ingredient. But the seasoning is so good, it's the, it's the best part. Uh, got anything else? Well, the menu is kind of restricted right now. What, what with the new health regulations, I have a chocolate bar, but it's pretty darn expensive. Oh, shit. Why is it so expensive? It's all part of the government wanting their kids to be less fat. You poor things are wasting away before my very eyes. Never mind, then. Just give me some... Get, just give me some slop. How about it? Can I go to the bathroom? Oh! I'm not allowed to let any of the kitties out in the hall during lunch, but maybe you could do me do me a little something if you wanted me to look that other way. Like what? Well, I seem to have misplaced my glasses. Those, these old eyes can't read the menu without them. See, if you, if, you, if you can find a pair lying around, I'll let you out. Will this work? Sure it will. Thank you so much, honey. Go on and do your business. I won't stop you. Thanks, dog. Fuck it. Let's go out there. We're going down the hallway. Yeet. Because I gotta go pee. I can see something behind the air vent, but I need something to unscrew it. Uh, probably a fucking... This isn't a door to the principal's office. I don't give a fuck where we're going. Oh, look at my little body right here. So cute and adorable. Oh. Huh? You! You're not supposed to be in here. I gotta take you to the principal. Unless what? Well, uh... I'm out of cigarettes. If you had some, I'd be willing to let you off. Major bummer, man. Looks like we're gonna go visit the principal. Fuck! Oh! You can't just be running around the school during lunch. You should know better. I'm sorry. M me too. Me, me too. M why aren't you sorry? Did the principal just shoot me in the head? So it wasn't really able to do anything outside, but we know we need a pack of the cigarettes and then we need a screwdriver and the janitor key to get in the closet and maybe even the uh, key to get in the classroom so let's just sell our apples okay kiddo that, that's the research bell go burn off the delicious shop you just ate oh god oh look at this look at these birds they're like <laughs> and um then what is this statue right now? Hold up. What is this statue? This is a statue of the principal. There's a red glint in its eyes. Wonderful. Are you are you still sad about your brother? I, I know he did it. I know why, but I, I know he did. Wait, what? I know he did it. I know why, but I know he did. The fuck are you? Damn it, Nugget. What did you do over here in Drome? What? Are you just chilling out here? You don't do shit. Don't bother me, kid. I'm still trying to figure this out. Figure what out? It's this riddle about the stupid duck things. Apparently, if you shake them in the right order, something's supposed to happen. What's the riddle? Go twice the duck that's further south. Then two, two blue before red. After re after returning to the first duck, then blue. Get get it wrong, and you're dead. Wait, let me see. Never eat salty worms. Okay, so we know with the duck. It's like. Yeah, good luck solving that. I don't want to get involved now that I think about it. Hmm. Okay. Okay, then two blue before red. What the fuck was that? What kind of fucking... Quack. Okay. And after return to the first, ducks and blue. Hey, we figured out the riddle and we didn't die. I, I kind of just want to see. I kind of want to see what would happen if we died. Solving the riddle seems to have caused a monster mon car to appear. A <laughs> monster. Yeah, pick it up. Fuck it. Why not? Okay. Can't believe it. You solved it. I'll have to figure it out faster next time. Yeah, Jerome. Yeah, you, you didn't think I was that cool, did you? What are you doing, Nugget? Wait. I, I probably can fall down there. Behold the Nugget Cave. It is very deep and very dark. What secrets does it hold? Do you want to find out? Um, uh, no. Just trust me, you'll love it. Uh, I don't think I will. No one has ever not loved the Nugget Cave. Fine, I'll go. Fuck, Nugget. 
Fuck out of here, Nuggy, you crazy motherfucker. Get out of here, I'm busy. You, you, you don't look busy. Uh, I'm bi uh, what's the point? It's no fun being a bully when no matter how many kids you, you beat up, my dad still isn't coming back. Sorry. A little bit a bit sentimental there. <laughs> Shit. I miss everything about him. Even the way he used to drink excessively. Um. Here. I'm gonna. Here. A flask. Oh, it's just like the one my dad used to get completely hammered from. Thanks, buddy. No problem. Here's a Monster Mon card. I really appreciate having this. I'll see, I'll see you later. Yeah, no problem, dude. Can I give you the breathalyzer as well? Thanks again, kid. I'll see you around. Yeah, no problem, dude. You just stay there and be cool. Be cool, ma. We're through. Go away. What? Why are we through? Cindy! Don't do this to me! I loved you. See you later next day. We're gonna play house, right? <laughs> what can I uh, do for you? Uh, I'm gonna buy something. Let's see what we have here. A Monster Mon card. Oh yeah, this is the Holy Knight card. He's pretty powerful in the world of Monster Mon. It'll, it'll run you $12.50. $12 I remember back in the day, I used to buy Yu-Gi-Oh cards and I buy like a pack for like $5 or something. And you tell me one card is $12.50. This better be like the fucking Blue Eyes the White Dragon or some shit. And I'm not just talking about the regular one. I'm talking about the, th the three-headed Blue Eyes Dragon. Well, I'm not fucking buying no deal get out of here um can i sell anything what do you got okay uh go play while you are still young and thin <laughs> jesus christ can i get on oh there's a oh shit pick it up got a that's the bell. Let's all head back inside for show and tell. Yes. That's nice. Hope everyone had a good recess. Let's all get ready for show and tell. Why don't you go first? Uh, what did you bring? Oh, shit. Uh, a breathalyzer. Oh, my. What on, why on earth would you have something like this? Your parents need to be more responsible. You shouldn't have to use one of these until you're at least 16. Who's next? Hopefully someone who doesn't need the, the back... The BAC checked on the regular. Damn. Well, children, that was uh, well, that was fun. A little show and tell. Oh, there's the bell. I hope you all had fun today. I'll see you all tomorrow, and my tits will just be as bouncy as ever. And look at us. Look at us just wobble along, like we just little penguins. Day complete. Monster Mon cards. Oh shit. See, fuck buying the Monster Mon card when I can just find these bitches all around the places. Monday again. All right, everybody. I think this is going to be the end of the YouTube video right here for kindergarten part one. And I got to say, I'm actually super surprised and happy that I played this game because the art style, everything, it is so funny. I just love the idea of how you might pick the wrong dialogue decision and then, you know what? The principal's pulling out a 44 revolver and shooting you right in the head. That kind of stuff is hilarious, and the art, like I said, the art style and the characters, like, I already have, like, attachment to the characters, and it was only the first day, so I cannot wait to play this more, and I think it'll be a funny video, so everybody, please come back and watch the next video, like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, and I guess I'll see everybody in the next video, so, yeah, peace, everybody.